Hi, I'm Dana and this is Small Flower TV. Today we're going to talk about the five major skin types. Dry, dehydrated, acne prone, sun damaged, and sensitive. So we're going to talk about dry skin first. So dry skin, I have dry skin, lacks oil and it can feel tight and dull. I like to use a cleansing oil like Shidoria, the jojoba and grapeseed based cleansing oil. This is full of great lipids and fatty acids and it really does support your skin's natural barrier without like over cleansing it like a soap would. Facial toner always to balance the pH of the skin. This one's really soothing and balancing. That's the facial toner from Dr. Hauschka. How could I forget? And then also the Dr. Hauschka Rose Face Cream, which is sort of their most emollient, sort of waxy, oily face cream with rose, so it also is very anti-redness. It feels great on a tight, dry skin, such as myself. I love it. So next we have dehydrated skin. So dehydrated skin can be really confusing for people because you can be tight and dull on the surface of your skin, but a lot of dehydrated skin types still break out and need some clarifying. I like to start with the Agent Nature Lactic Wash. The Acid Wash is a lactic acid brightening cleanser. This is a super gentle moisture balancing cleanser that has lactic acid in it to help exfoliate that dull skin off, or if you do break out and you're dehydrated, it'll help to kind of like fade the acne spots, things like that. It's really gently exfoliating. I love this cleanser. You have now the Bioderma Hydrabio Essence Lotion. This is super cool. It's not a toner, it's not astringent, but it's got lots of water loving ingredients in it. And it's like a skin softener almost. And um, we heard that a lot in K-beauty trends, like a skin softener. It really does hydrate and plump the surface of the skin. So I love this. And the way you use it is just dash it in your hand and pat it on your face after you cleanse. And then it's a favorite here at MERS, the Hydrabio Hydrance Aqua Gel Moisturizer from Aven. It's a hydrating water in gel moisturizer. Great for all skin types, but especially dehydrated skin. Super lightweight. It kind of, the skin takes it in right away, especially after this, because your skin is very spongy and ready to accept the moisturizer after this. And just really bouncy and feels really good. <laughs> Sensitive skin. Sensitive skin can be dry or oily or dehydrated, but really sensitive skin is reactive to a lot of ingredients. It can be easily reddened. You can have rashes. You can be flushed and hot. You can be itchy, all of those things. You have to be careful about products that you're using and the ingredients. Usually less is more with a sensitive skin. So we're just supporting the natural defense of the skin. I love the Aven Anti-Regere Anti-Redness Lotion Cleanser. This is a super benign cleanser. You can use it around your eyes if you are wearing makeup, but anybody can use it. Skin prone to redness. This has no fragrance in it. It has no active ingredients in it. It's super mild. And if you're extremely sensitive, you can even put it on and sort of like tissue or compress it off and not even dip into the hot water. Cause sometimes like water, washing your face with water, even for sensitive skin type can be like too harsh, right? Then we have Aven Thermal Spring Water. This water is a super pure pH balance water that they extract from aquifer in France in a certain area of France that has never seen light, pollution, nothing. It's a super skin supporting, calming water mist. You do that after you cleanse and you honestly can do this whenever you're feeling flushed or rashy or itchy or reactive. They make them in travel sizes too. So you can carry that with you in your bag or in your pocket if you're a really sensitive skin type. Good to always have this. And then just the Uncle Harry's jojoba cream. This is, I mean it says perfect for sensitive skin. All this is, is jojoba esters. It has no essential oils in it, no active ingredients, no acids, no nothing. Gentle, 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 just to protect that skin barrier. Uncle Harry's jojoba cream to seal it in. Next we have sun damaged skin. Sun damaged skin can also be, it doesn't have to be sun damaged. Whether you've been in the sun your whole life and you have photo damage, you have scarring, any kind of irregular pigmentation or melasma on your face, like this category is for you. I like to start with just a gentle cleanser. This is the Keys Island RX Micellar Foaming cleanser. This is great. This is like a top deal here at MERS because it works for most skin types. Just gentle and really clean, foamy, really nice. Next, I have the Agent Nature, the Holy C Duos. This is their very stable vitamin C. It's actually vitamin C phosphate, not ascorbic acid. In here and a little bit of calcium. And then the Holy Water, which is a hyaluronic pearl, pearl essence water. These two love each other. What you do with this, it's a powder. And you activate it with the water and it makes 
a serum that you then press into your face. More importantly, vitamin C is awesome for brightening and strengthening the skin's surface. It will help over time fade photo damage, melasma, scarring, anything on the skin. It also is a great antioxidant vitamin for those of us that live in or around cities insofar as sort of preventing that free radical damage from pollution. This is like a superstar duo for sun damaged or irregularly scarred or pigmented skin. Then I like to always, if when, you're, when you're doing something like a vitamin C or any other kind of acid or retinol, you wanna wear SPF. Kula makes this great refreshing water cream. It's super lightweight, but it is SPF 50, which is great. Sometimes it's hard to find a very high sun protection factor in a very lightweight, nice product. And this just does it. So this kind of seals the deal and prevents any further damage from the sun. So now we're gonna talk about acne prone or blemish prone skin or skin that just produces a lot of extra oil and needs clarifications. I like to start with the Evan Healy Tea Tree Gel Cleanser. This is a soap free cleanser, meaning it's detergent free. It's not gonna strip the skin, but it does suds up a little bit and it has tea tree in it, which is naturally antiseptic. So great for people that might be experiencing breakouts. It's awesome. Awesome in the summer too, when it's hot. Next, our, our balancing ritual, we have the Shidoria Peach Moon Herbal Water. And this has two ingredients only in it, grapefruit seed hydrosol, which is also naturally antiseptic, and Japanese ginger shell extract, which is very antioxidant. This is just, everybody loves this. It smells really good, it balances the skin, it really does regulate the acid mantle. It's great, it's addictive. And then, I love the Shidoria Rosehip Seed Oil. This is a CO2 extracted rosehip seed oil. Rose hips have naturally occurring great levels of vitamin A, which is very nicely retexturizing and resurfacing to the skin. It's great for breakouts, acne scars, fine lines, wrinkles, everything. And it's not a heavy oil, it's a really skin-friendly oil. So I'd love to finish with that as sort of our moisturizer for maybe a blemish-prone skin. And then for blemish-prone skin especially, once a week or so, doing something like the green tea clay mask from Evan Healy is really nice. Clay acts like a suction for the pores and like a vacuum for the pores. When you're blemish prone, you can be coarsely poured, oily. You need that kind of like gentle, deeper cleanse, and that's what clay does. It's a really nice natural alternative to harsh exfoliants. And that's that's really, really great for a blemish prone skin or, or an oily skin type. If you liked what you saw here, please hit the thumbs up, the bell button, and subscribe below to be notified when we do more of these videos for Small Flower TV.